Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about uh, uh, design of square and rectangular uh, sun keys. So already in the previous video, we had discussed about what is key, its types and uh, all of the things we discussed. In this video, we will be discussing uh, in strength point of view and even the uh, rigidity point of view, we will be discussing for both square and rectangular sun keys. So uh, here I just want to you know like take you to the previous uh, you know like the slides so that uh, it will be easy for us uh, uh, to get uh, in detail. Square key you can able to see this. What is the information we supposed to remember for the square keys? Uh, square key and the rectangular keys. Where the rectangular key is nothing but uh, it is a a piece of mild steel inserted between the shaft and hub of the pulley. Uh, to connect uh, together in order to prevent relative motions between them. So here the key has tapper 1 in 100 on the top side only but in the square key uh, the only difference between the uh, square key and the rectangular sun key is with the uh, square sun keys its width and thickness are equal. So uh, here the D by 4 will be there and here it will be having a, a tapper. So now we will be checking for the same condition uh, uh, in this thing. So first we will see uh, almost for the square and the rectangle we will be getting uh, the same uh, uh, values except the change in uh, uh, side. So first we will see uh, the failure of the rectangular sun key in the shear point of view. You can see with this I have taken a rectangular uh, uh, in key uh, where the W is nothing but width and L is nothing but the length and the T is nothing but the thickness. Okay, and uh, here the, the the tapering and other information is here, and this is the shear area which is highlighted in the uh, yellow color. Uh, that indicates that uh, this rectangle, since uh, some part of the key will be visible outside, there will be uh, some uh, partial shear on the keys that is uh, uh, shown in uh, yellow color. So now, if we see that the formula, the uh, shear formula, that is Q is equal to F divided by uh, L into W. So writing uh, this in terms of F equation, so it is Q into uh, L into W we will be getting. So the torque equation as we know that for the rectangular sun key uh, it is uh, D by 2 uh, since the sides are uh, same. So D is nothing but F into D by 2 and I will be substituting uh, this uh, uh, T that is F into D by 2 in this equation that is Q into L into W into uh, D by 2. This is for the shear case uh, the torque. Uh, then what about uh, the, the keys in uh, crushing for the same rectangular uh, uh, sunk key. Here you can able to see like let me go with the same assumption where uh, this is uh, uh, the yellow color indicates the part where the crushing has to done and uh, the total thickness is T means the crushing part uh, thickness is uh, T by 2. L is nothing but the length and the W is nothing but uh, width. So the crushing stress is equal to F divided by L into T by 2. Uh, where uh, I am writing uh, this uh, in terms of F equation. So crushing stress into length into T by 2. So T equal to F into T by 2. And uh, substituting these things uh, in this. So uh, say T is equal to sigma CR into L into T by 2 into T by 2. Now uh, the key uh, relation of the shear and the crushing stress is the rectangular sun key. So the trans the torque transmitted by the key in shearing it is T equal to Q into L into W into T by 2 and the torque transmitted by the key in crushing is uh, uh, crushing stress into uh, L into T by 2 into T by 2. So in both uh, stresses the torque transmission is same. So hence I, I can equate uh, both uh, the shearing stress and the crushing stress and uh, the equation will be uh, Q into L into W into D by 2 which is equal to sigma CR into L into D by 2 into T by 2. You can able to see this many common things are there that we can uh, get cancelled. So finally I will be getting the equation as uh, Q divided by uh, uh, crushing stress which is equal to T divided by uh, 2W. And uh, this uh, uh, let me write down uh, in the required format that is uh, uh, Q divided by crushing stress is equal to T is nothing but D by 6 and W is nothing but D by 4. So uh, it, it, it was already discussed in the previous videos like uh, how this uh, uh, T and W values for the rectangular sum key. Uh, so uh, it is a d by 6 divided by uh, 2 into d by 4. Then cancelling uh, the you know like a d and uh, these uh, numbers, we will be getting q by cr, uh, q by uh, crushing stress is equal to 1 by 3. So crushing stress is equal to uh, 3 times of q. And similarly we have a relation.
of a shear and a crushing stress uh, in a square uh, sunk key. So here uh, the, tron, uh, the torque transferred by the key in shearing that is T equal to Q into L into W into T by 2 and the torque transferred by key in crushing is T is equal to crushing stress into L into T by 2 into D by 2. Here also the both the stresses torque transmission is uh, same. Hence I will be equating both the equation that is the Q into L into W into D by 2 which is equal to crushing stress into length into T by 2 into D by 2 cancelling uh, uh, the same components here. So I will be getting Q by crushing stress is equal to T by uh, 2 W and here uh, uh, T is equal to W for the square sunk key here I am talking because uh, both width and thickness is same for the square sunk key. So Q by C uh, like crushing stress is equal to T uh, divided by uh, 2 into T I will be uh, getting. So Q by CR is equal to 1 by 2 and uh, crushing stress is equal to 2 times of K. So here uh, one uh, common uh, you know like uh, uh, connectivity which you can be able to see in uh, both the rectangular key and the square uh, sunk key is for the uh, shear and crushing relationship before the rectangular sunk key the crushing stress is equal to 3 times of Q and uh, similarly uh, for the shear and crushing for the square sunk key the crushing stress is equal to 2 times of Q. And how the key is, uh, is uh, very effective on the strength of the shaft. So to accommodate the key in shaft and hub, a slot should be created in on the shaft of the material and this slot can be produced by removing the material on the shaft by vertical or horizontal tool and melding machine. So this slot reduces the load carrying capacity of the material, hence the stresses will be concentrated at the short corners of the keyway slot. So due to the stress concentration, the torsional strength of the shaft it reduces. To analyze the weakening effect of uh, keyway, and the following equations uh, should be used that is E equal to 1 minus 0 0.2 W minus T minus 1.1 H by D. So therefore E is nothing but uh, shaft strength factor which is equal to strength of shaft with keyway uh, divided by uh, strength of shaft without keyway. As I said uh, when we calculate the shift, uh, shaft strength factor uh, we need to uh, consider the groove that is with uh, the keyway groove and without the keyway group then what it is possible for us to find out uh, the strength factor. So where W is nothing but width of keyway and D is nothing but diameter of the shaft and F is nothing but uh, depth of the keyway which is nothing but uh, T by 2. And here from the design data handbook uh, where the dimension of the square keys uh, uh, where I have taken uh, the key size. So the diameter of the shaft over 7 by 16 to 9 by 16 the key size of the key referred as 1 by 8 and the diameter of the shaft over uh, 1 3 by 8 uh, uh, 2 1 3 by 4. These are all the inches and uh, the size key should be uh, 3 by 8 and the diameter uh, this 3 by 8 is the width and the thickness. So width and the thickness indicates uh, this one and uh, over uh, 9 by 16 700 all are like the width and thickness of the keys and the keys uh, uh, seats. So for 3 by 16 so preferably uh, we will be considering uh, the, the first and second category that is uh, 7 by 8 and 1. So this is if it is only 1 means where uh, it should be understood like uh, the both uh, the size like the width and thickness is the same. And over uh, 3 to 4, where 3 by 4 and 1 by 2, again it will vary uh, the diameter of the shaft for the different key size. So if, if, if it is given starting from uh, 7, uh, 9, again uh, 7, to, uh, uh, 7 to 8, again um, you can able to see here 1 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5 and 5 to 6. So this way it is uh, listed out. And uh, this particular table uh, we can uh, refer uh, for solving the keys problem also. So with this uh, I will be winding up this video. Thank you.